To hit max rank in Halo Infinite, you need about 9,319,350 XP. And when games go for 10 minutes plus, and you get 1 to 4k each in social arenas or even in ranked, it's gonna be a freaking grind. Infinite's firefight mode, for me, may be the most efficient way to grind, and here's how I'm gonna do it, and here's what I'm learning, and here's some tips and tricks for you. Now keep this in mind, normal firefight seems to be the best. Usually random teammates and even myself die quickly early on and even out of nowhere from snipers in heroic and especially legendary. So normal is the most efficient way of getting that flow state with XP. After doing some research, apparently you get 1.15 more XP in heroic and 1.25 more XP in legendary on firefight. I mean, go ahead and try it on the higher difficulties. I'm not going to stop you there, but... Even in normal, it's hard to get people to not die, so, uh... Here's some reasons why Firefight is more efficient for leveling your career rank. I can average around 5,000 score per 16 minutes or less in these Firefight matches. For a 10-minute match in social, and I get like 3,000 maybe if I'm doing good, or 4,000 if I'm doing great in 10 minutes in a social game, yeah, I'd rather just do the Firefight. But that 5,000 average score also depends on how good teammates and I work together. Here's the biggest point of this if you're going to want to use Firefight for XP grind. Stay in the hill the entire time possible. There's one, one exception. One exception. If it's contested by a lot of enemies, get out of there. You're not going to be getting points. But to win the game mode and to maximize your XP... Stay in the hill. You're going to get 25 XP per about 4-5 seconds if you're in that hill uncontested. As long as that meter is filling up, you're getting points if you're in the hill. You'll see people in these maps with the gun goose and the chopper and stuff like that. The gun goose. And those are like one-seated vehicles. And of course, they help with making the time go by faster. But if you want to maximize your XP, go in there and stay in the hill. Here's another thing. Since you're going to want to stay in the hill, capture it whenever you finish the boss wave. You'll get an extra 100 at the end of the round for hill scored. Play your life. Stay in the hill. Pop those enemies. Capture the hill. Don't die. Play your life. You probably heard that a lot if you play any games and ranked or looked up tips and tricks to get better at playing Trials of Osiris or Call of Duty ranked or any fucking R6 Siege. Play your life. If no one on your team dies in a round, you get a skull modifier for the next round. That sounds bad, but you get, I think, an extra 200 XP per skull. I don't get mad in firefight. If I die, I'm just like, ugh, whatever. In social, in arena, or anything, when I die over and over again, especially in Husky Raid, sometimes it's a little tilting when you just get killed over and over again in your spawn by a gravity hammer. And also, uh, in firefight, if I lose in two minutes, I'm just going on to the next one. I'm just matchmaking for the next game. I am dedicated to hitting hero rank, so... Firefight is usually called them a name. Oh, also, make sure to claim your free coding in the shop. 